The mass of a proton or neutron is incredibly small, only 1.67 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. Numbers like this become difficult to use, so a standard was set based on an atom of carbon-12. The mass of C12 is 12 atomic mass units, or AMU. Therefore, one atomic mass unit is one twelfth the mass of carbon-12 atom. Carbon-12 is just one isotope of carbon. Recall that elements with the same number of protons are the same element, but the number of neutrons can be different. Here, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14 all have different numbers of neutrons. These exist naturally in certain quantities. Carbon-12 makes up 98.89% of the naturally abundant carbon. Carbon-13 is 1.11%, and carbon-14 is so rare that there's only about one part per trillion in the atmosphere. So, to account for the different amounts of the isotopes that exist in nature, scientists use atomic mass. Atomic mass is the weighted average mass of the atoms in a naturally occurring sample of an element. To calculate atomic mass, you multiply the mass of each isotope by its natural abundance, expressed as a decimal, and then you add the products. Let's try an example. We'll use carbon-12 and carbon-13. Carbon-12 is exactly 12 AMU, but carbon-13 is 13.003. Use a chart to look up the masses of these isotopes. Then we need to convert their abundance percentages into decimals by moving the decimal point two places to the left. Now we can multiply. And then we add up the products, and we get our final answer, which is going to be the same number that's on the periodic table for atomic mass. And for carbon, that's 12.011 AMU. Here's another example. Sulfur has four isotopes, sulfur 32, 33, 34, and 35. Find their masses in AMU, and multiply by the percent abundance in decimal form. Then add the products, and you get 32.06 AMU. To talk about usable quantities of atoms, we use the molar mass, which is the mass of a mole of the element expressed in grams. So to find molar mass, all you need to do is take the atomic mass of the element, express it in grams, and that's the mass of a mole of the element. Here's an example. When you look at oxygen on the periodic table, it has a mass of 15.99 AMU. So to make it molar mass, just change the units from AMU to grams per mole. And the same is true for any element on the periodic table. If you want to figure out the molar mass for a compound, just add together masses for each atom in the compound. For example, water has the formula H2O, so we would have to add two hydrogen masses and one oxygen mass together, and we get 18.01 grams per mole. And you can do this with any compound. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.